Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We were starting to get all excited about a footies promo that was leaked yesterday, but that excitement is going away because it is not coming as soon as we thought it was going to be. Based off some new and updated leaks, it looks like we are still going to have another week of shapeshifters instead of going right into footies this weekend as it looked like we were going to do. So I want to take a look at all of those leaks. I know it's a bummer because we were starting to get all excited thinking about concepts, thinking about what cards are going to be, you know, in footies, what SBC's objectives could we see. We started to see people on the market going panic sell cards. Prices were dropping like crazy. Also yesterday after the leaks changed saying that footies was not this Friday, the market shot back up for a short amount of time. It just caused madness. And the past day on this game has been wild because of everything that has gone on with these leaks about Shapeshifters Team 4, which is actually coming tomorrow, and some more leaks related to content and cards are going to come out during that. But it's just been an absolute madness. And it is disappointing. I 100% get it. I'm disappointed too because it feels like one of those times where you get your hopes up for something that's going to be great because we know that footies is always great. But we have to wait one more week for it. So we do have some pretty cool leagues for Shapeshifters Team 4. But it's just a bummer because we thought we were ending that and heading into footies. But unfortunately, that's not how it looks. So I'm going to cover all of that today and talk about a Thursday on FIFA 22. The last day that these cards are in packs. And take a look at a new leaker. Yes, we've been looking at Foot Sheriff's leaks for quite some time. He's been like the guy when it comes to leaks. It, there's a new guy in town, and uh, he's got some leaks about Shapeshifters Team 4. We're obviously going to take those with a grain of salt, but I want to take a look at those in this video as well and take a look at all the craziness that happened on the market. And it's still, tomorrow's a big day on Friday because of these summer swaps rewards that are going to be released. So if you're excited for all that and more, hit the thumbs up on today's video and subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into it and just talk about all the leaked information that we had yesterday that basically for lack of a better term, changed everything on the market and on the game. So this was the original tweet that we looked at yesterday, right? Footies is coming this Friday. Still no confirmation on Shapeshifters Team 4. So earlier yesterday on Wednesday, Foot Sheriff quote tweets this and says, Team 4 has now been confirmed to arrive. Footies will likely start from next week. Can't give full confirmation on that. And he has got two Shapeshifter objectives that has been added. So he's getting information about Shapeshifter cards that are leaked to come this weekend so this was the tweet that got everybody really upset yesterday and, and feeling like we got baited right this is this is the basis of it all because we were starting to get hyped for footies i mean even just like an hour or so before this look at this foot sheriff was literally tweeting out stuff about footies and basically what happened here was i think foot sheriff got a first bit of info about footies and just tweeted out that it is coming because he had no other information about shapeshifters and another team and then he started to get information about shapeshifters so he's like oh sorry guys like i really shouldn't have tweeted this out that early but the damage was done and it's crazy how much stock and how much weight this these leaks have on the market because based off of this tweet right here we saw panic selling yesterday uh or two days ago on, on tuesday but on a wednesday it got even more crazy and prices dropped even more i mean take a look at some of the prices that we still have right now we have got a rashford card that on tuesday was 1.7 million coins he dropped to 1.5 yesterday with more leaks and more talk about footies he dropped all the way down into the low 1.3 million coin range he bounced back up to 1.5 almost, but he's still in the 1.3 mil range. A lot of people saw the information about footies and they started to sell cards from team, their teams. There was a ton of panic selling and prices are still down across the board because of those leaks, even though now they're not 100% accurate for what's happening this Friday on the game. Prices are still down a lot because of it, right? This Marcelo that I was actually lucky enough to pack yesterday, that's a whole nother story. Um... Marcelo was 4 point whatever million coins on the weekend, right? Went down to 3-3 three, three in the crazy panic and then started to rebound back up. This was the story of yesterday on the market where people saw the leaks for footies. And more and more people started thinking about it and getting hyped. They sold cards, they sold cards, panic selling, and then boom. Sheriff tweets this out and says, hey, footies is not going to be this Friday. And people went out and bought some cards right back. And that's why you saw a few cards bounce back up. Now, there is a little bit of information about footies. And I'm guessing this is what the information he got. 
He said that everyone will receive a player pick with three footies cards that come as an SBC. And like we talked about in yesterday's video, that's something that was done last year as well. The first vote is going to be based off a of five-star weak foot, and then two of them will come via SBC after the final final count votes. So actually, we're going to play a pick of three players, and we'll get two SBCs from that. So the, the first and second most votes out of those three will get an SBC. He says, I doubt it comes with Shapeshifters Team 4, but it's confirmed to be the next promo. So also, since it's a voting situation, and this is I'm just going to drop my first little thought right here on this. I think that we might see the footies vote. Like this footies vote could actually take place this next week on like Wednesday or Thursday, probably like a Wednesday, right? In the middle of the last week of Shapeshifters Team 4, this next week, I'm talking like a week from now, they might drop this vote early before then. And then that would allow us to get that voted player. The winners will then be released on Friday. That's just kind of my thought. We'll see if that happens or not. But um, that's besides the point because we're still in shapeshifters, right? We are still looking at shapeshifters content. We have some more leaks about a Daniel James objective card via shapeshifters. Uh, we have got another objective for this Iago. I think his base position is a left back. He's going to get a position change and we are going to be getting more shapeshifter heroes instead of footies cards with a Milito player pick SBC. Basically think about the Ole that we had last week. We're going to be getting the Milito this week. Don't know when it's going to be, but this is our leaked SPC at the moment. So again, I, I'm with you guys, man. This sucks because we were getting all excited for footies. I was really getting excited for the objectives, the SPCs, the great cards that were going to come out. I was already thinking about the card design, players that could be in this. Like we were really getting excited for this. And now knowing that we have another week of foot hero shapeshifters, which really isn't a bad promo, but I think it's really not as great this week as it has been in previous weeks because it just seems kind of dead this week. And even yesterday I was talking about it. It just seemed like one of those weeks where EA was trying to make it kind of dead before they actually go out and they release a really big promo like footies. But there are some really big cards to be leaked. Uh, that are supposed to be released tomorrow as a part of Shapeshifters 4, but I have some tinfoil hat theories. And wh wh what we mean by that is basically just some reasoning why we think EA might not be releasing footies um, like today or tomorrow rather is think about what's coming this Friday, right? We are getting the rewards packs for TOTS swaps. So there's going to be so many people getting really, really hyped about the tot swap rewards this friday i really think that ea wanted to not release a brand new promo to start off when all of that was happening on one day instead they know that people love footies right we talked about it yesterday footies is one of the fan favorite promos that we get every single year during the summer so they can use that and create their own hype around that on a future friday next friday and they can still save the swaps uh, rewards with all the fodder packs, maybe the shapeshifters, player picks, and all that hype for this Friday. And that way they can have two hype Fridays on the game instead of just one. If that kind of makes sense to you, I think they also didn't want to make, uh, give people the opportunity of opening all their swaps packs like on a Friday when they were going to release a bunch of specials into packs with with footies instead of just having a new shapeshifter team out there i think that's part of the equation as well we'll never really know right because it's ea we never get legit answers for these things but i think kind of using those two things together you can kind of come up with a, your reasoning as to why ea wanted to do a shapeshifters team four this is probably the plan from the beginning there's probably been a plan to have four weeks of shapeshifters it's just we got all excited about the leaks because that's what we heard about and uh, that was the information that we heard early. Uh, again, it just it just reinforces, and we haven't had to think about this in a long time, but it just reinforces the facts that the leaks are not always 100% correct. And we have to make sure that we are taking these leaks with a with a pinch of salt, with a grain of salt, right? Um, now, let's, let's talk about Team 4 for a second, because as I mentioned, there is a new leaker in town. Foot Sheriff has only leaked a couple cards. We also have a pretty big SBC that is leaked, a moment's shapeshifter marco royce now he did not leak this is sheriff still sheriff did not leak this sbc with any um you know these are predicted stats and he does not have a position for this card but there is another twitter account that has just come on the scene literally created a couple days ago in the past week this at foot leader account has been created and it's a person that has started to post leaks leaks earlier than foot sheriff and more specific so 
Again, this is a brand new Twitter account and we don't have any confirmation that, that this guy is really legit yet, but he's been posting some pretty serious cards and they seem pretty legit. So by Friday, by tomorrow, we will know if this account is legit or not. It feels like it is and that's why it's gaining some traction, but just kind of have to shout that out. And if you guys want to check out this account, you can't, you can, of course. Um, the only thing that he has posted that is the exact same as Foot Sheriff is the Marco Royce SBC, but he's posted a lot of stuff in the last day, which is basically when he started this account. He posted that Conte is going to be in Shapeshifters Team 4 with five-star skills and really not that much of a position change. He posted the Royce card as a right wing with five-star skills. Again, like I mentioned, that's why this guy's getting a little bit of traction and some some hype on Twitter at the moment is because he's posting stuff that is different, more in-depth, and giving us more information than Fort Sheriff is. So Royce is getting this SBC. I don't know when that's going to be, but according to him, it's five skills and it's right wing. We've got a Dempsey. Basically, this is something that Foot Sheriff did tweet out himself. He said that Shapeshifters Team 4 will be a new team with the remaining heroes plus other players. So that gives us insight into probably expecting the rest of the heroes, or at least most of them, that have not gotten special cards from, you know, Team 3. Like, think about Di Natale, or Cordoba, or Abedi Pele, Joe Cole, Robbie Keane, those types of guys. It sounds like they're going to be getting hero shapeshifter cards as well, which some of them we see here leaked by foot leader. He shows a Dempsey left wing that is Premier League, not MLS. He shows a right wing Bundesliga, a Betty Pele item with five star, five star. He shows a right back Cordoba that is Serie A. Um, he shows a center attacking mid Joe Cole that is League One, not Premier League. That'll be a really interesting le links, by the way, for, you know, hybrid squads. If you put an English player from League 1 in your team, those links are very hard to come by. So that's kind of a cool item just for that fact right there. He even leaked an icon for FIFA 23, Zico, as he said, is going to be coming as an icon this next year. Tim Cahill is getting a crazy CDM card. Um, that's, again, that's a wild card. GG's EA Sports. That'll be interesting. Probably pretty cheap, but pretty interesting. And then we get into some more players. A center mid delict. He says, unsure of weak footer skill move, but uh, those are the stats. I believe he said that stats are predicted for all of these cards. They are not confirmed. Um, Kyle Walker, not a goalkeeper, Kyle Walker, but a center back has been leaked. I mean, if these are the actual stats for Kyle Walker, that's insane. David Silva left wing card. That could be decent. Claude Maurice, no position change, but he's evidently in. Hasn't had a promo card since earlier this year. Hydara uh, shifted to right back. And he says in this little, little uh, note here, he says, um, quality over quantity. Some days I will not have a lot to share. Um, simply means I have nothing to share if it's not a value. Stats at the time of posting are exactly what is programmed to come out. EA typically edit the stats ever so slightly in the days leading up. The stats in my post are likely not 100% accurate. So this guy is absolutely a leak account. You can tell, right? He set it up. He follows only FIFA, direct communication and EA Sports FIFA. It's kind of funny. Uh, but he's got some infi inside information that he feels he can share with the community and to help some people out and, and create some hype. So th there's a new leak account in town. And I have to talk to you guys about this because if you're seeing leaks for any of these other cards, especially like a Kyle Walker, the Conte, um, Delict, anything like that, that's where this is coming from. And again, we're going to take it with a pinch of salt because this guy is a brand new account, not proven, not legit yet. But we're going to we're going to be able to know on Friday and maybe even as soon as today, depending on some of the other cards. Like if Foot Sheriff starts leaking the exact same cards and says that, hey, this guy posted it and I'm getting the same thing, then that would give us some confirmation to know that that account is pretty legit. So if you want to drop that account a follow, uh, it's there. Uh, and, you know, I, I think guys these days on Twitter know that if they can figure out a way to get some leaks, then that's how they can get a lot of followers on Twitter. So that's probably what that guy is going after. He knows that he's got a plug or he's got a guy inside that can get him information. So he's going to try to take advantage of that. And I mean, I understand and I see why he's doing that. But, you know, it's also at this time of the game when we see all this stuff happening with the leaks, with the problems with it, that we just sit here and we're like, man, it would be a lot nicer if it was just back to the old way where there were no leaks. Yes, having leaks does create a lot of hype, but also it ruins the surprise factor. I think nobody can argue with that. The days where we had no leaks and it was genuine surprise uh, for at least you know 99% of the population instead of you know a surprise for like 50% of the population that doesn't look at Twitter for leaks or whatever it may be. 
Um, those were the real days, but unfortunately we don't have too many of those nowadays. Um, and unfortunately we have experiences like we had yesterday with, we get our hopes and expectations up to here about a footies promo and instead it's just not as hyped. I'm not saying that tomorrow and Friday is not going to be a hype day. I still think there's a lot of great cards that are going to be out that people want to use. The summer swaps are still going to create a lot of hype as well, but it just, once we had our expectations up here, anything that's under that is going to make us disappointed. So that's kind of the whole situation with the shapeshifters team four coming tomorrow. If we have more leaks, we'll of course take a look at those on tomorrow's video and talk about that some more. Uh, but that's kind of that for that whole situation and what's going on there. Now, like I mentioned with the market, there was a ton of panic selling yesterday. It was actually mental. Um, I bought a Ramos for 1.47, sold him at 159 like 20 minutes later. Uh, I bought an Mbappe for 1.51, sold it at 161. I bought a bunch of Neymars at like 700K at 720, and I sold them between 790 and 800. And you know, not every card bounced back though. I bought three Coutinho's, uh, 850 and 820 on these two. And I believe Coutinho right now is still like 880K. Uh, he's 900,000 coins. If this one can sell, then we'll be good. But like th these cards are still kind of down. A lot of cards are still down in price. I sold my Marcelo for a loss. But like, as I mentioned, that 93 plus came back yesterday and I was lucky enough to snag a Marcelo. That was, it's going to go down as one of my more crazy pulls this year in FIFA, but it was so unexpected. Um, this guy is a beast. His stats are kind of wrong because those were only in... Uh, He's playing center mid, and that was where some friendly games, gold and goal, which sometimes the stats in those are they don't count uh, the goals and assists. But I mean, absolutely incredible pack pull yesterday from the 93 plus. I was not expecting that at all. Now, speaking of yesterday's content as well, um, we talked about the market go uh, like dip and and rebound. One thing I will say about the market is. You know, this weekend, I think you'll see a couple prices maybe bounce back a little bit uh, in terms of your meta cards, but I still think we're going to see more price drops later on next week. Um, and the prices are still probably going to stay pretty low just because, you know, we had the footies leaks and now we're not actually going to have footies. Just because that we are not having footies would not make me think that, you know, Ribery, because he was 4.3 million coins, um, is now going to go back up to 4.3 mil after being down under 4 million coins just because of these leaks now being kind of reversed, right? Like, of course, this card is still very rare, but we're getting some really big items this weekend. Some of your other TOTS cards, you know, like the Rashford shapeshifter, the Sane shapeshifter, Valverde is down in price. I wouldn't expect huge bounce backs because once you have a panic sale like this, you have a few cards that'll go back up a little bit, but not that much. So if you want to buy a card for your team, just look at this as an opportunity to maybe buy it now after the price has dropped, use it this weekend, have some fun with a card. And then I would probably look to get out of it before we get into the legit footies promo down the line next week. So that's if you're like wanting to try a card out or use a team this weekend for weekend league. I think that uh, you're you're semi safe to buy because unless EA drops an insane day of content on Friday, the real hype is going to be next week with footies. In my opinion, it's probably going to be a very similar day of tomorrow as it was last week, except for the swaps rewards. So you know that's kind of there, and we'll talk about that even more tomorrow. Of regardless, you know, um, not regardless, but just kind of seeing what we get leak wise tomorrow as well. Um, on Thursday or today on Thursday and then what with the content happens as well. Speaking of content, we had an 85 plus player pick that was re-upped yesterday and they did for the third week in a row, they released the 93 plus tots and shapeshifters player pick. Now this included teams one, two and three. And that's of course uh, why some people were packing some good cards yesterday. This SBC still absolutely gives out majority of the time team of the season cards, which is a bit of a bummer. But I think the pack weight yesterday was maybe a little bit better than what I had seen in the past few weeks. I at least saw some people getting shapeshifter heroes. I, of course, had an insane pull. More shapeshifters seem to be popping out of this. I don't have a problem with this player pick. I actually like that they made it no team of the week or team of the season requirements from yesterday's SBC. And that was something I wanted to talk about in this video because EA Sports frauded yesterday in this SBC right here, the TOTS upgrade pack. 
Now they released a tradable team of the week that anybody can do and team of the week prices on the market have dropped a lot. It was like 50K for a team of the week. Now it's 30K. Will those prices go back up a little bit this weekend? Maybe, we'll have to see. But EA dropped three upgrades. The 81 plus team of the week that is repeatable. This is a W. It is an 83 rated squad, low chemistry, and you get a team of the week card, that's a dub. You can get this done for like 12K, I believe, on Footbin. If you go and take a look at this, it's like 12K to get it done. And I believe that this SBC right here, the team of the week 81 plus is, yeah, 18K. So it's actually gone up a little bit. It is made, 83s go up. 83s are about 2K a card. They're up a little bit. 84s are up a little bit as well because of that SBC. I think that's the biggest piece of demand for that low tier fodder right now. Now, the SBC that's fraudulent is the TOTS upgrade. And you're like, Nate, why, why would you say this is fraudulent? You get a team of the season player. Well, the reason why it's fraudulent is you have to turn in either a team of the season or a team of the week player to get this done, which a lot of people don't have right now in any of their squads. So the only way that this is a decent SBC is if you do a team of the week upgrade, you get like an 81 or an 82 rated player. And then you're also doing player picked at the same time, or you have 83s and 84s in your club that you can turn in to do a TOTS upgrade pack. And then from this TOTS upgrade, you're probably only going to pack somebody. It's like a 91 rated or below from a non top five league team of the season. It's not an e-fix pack. It's not like a 90 plus pack. You're going to be packing some of those fodder TOTS cards. So you're basically just upgrading your fodder inform for a fodder TOTS card. And that's, you know, a lot of these SBCs, they're requiring TOTS or Team of the Week. I would just do an 83 rated squad, get your Team of the Week player, hope for a higher rating, and just use that in any other SBC that you're doing. Even if it's like an 88 rated squad um, or an 87 rated squad that requires a Team of the Week, I would rather turn in an 81 or an 83 rated Team of the Week player instead of going and turning that in and then trying to do a TOTS upgrade only to get like an 88 rated team of the season card when you could have just used the team of the week player that you got and spent an extra maybe 10 20k instead of spending an extra like this SPC is 78,000 coins to do now of course 40k of that is the rest of the team around the tots or team of the week player and 30k of that is the team of the week player but you know i would rather just go spend the extra 10 15 20k to buy the higher rated player via SPC fodder to get that higher rated squad done instead of paying an extra 40K to go and get the TOTS upgrade done to get a who knows what kind of TOTS card. So this to me is not good enough. I think they should have released this. A, I think a TOTS upgrade should have been repeatable if they were gonna make it three times. And I think this should have been, instead of a team of the week requirement in here, I think this should have been like an 85 rated squad with 50 chemistry and let us do it three times and, and then say done. So I think that one could have been better. But uh, the 81 plus upgrade's not bad because you can grind that repeatable and, and fill your club up with a few cards. That one's pretty good. So that was kind of the biggest piece of content yesterday. We did get a swaps token. I believe it was in the objective mode for silver stars. This guy right here, Dumbia. Did we get a swap token? We did. Shapeshifters, Dumbia. Uh, there was a swap token available there for the Silver Stars item. So, yeah, today's Thursday as well. Really quick to end off this video, what are we expecting today on Thursday? I'm not expecting that much. Thursdays are always really quiet days. We'll have the 85 times 5 that we'll be able to do again. Um, and then make sure you're just grinding away at some of your squad battles games or your one league friendly games to get these tokens because tomorrow is the big day for the tokens uh, in this game. So I think today is going to be a pretty quiet date on Thursday. A couple really last minute things. Notice the James Madison dynamic image here. It is him like with a green, it's like a green and uh, kind of white like Lester kid on, right? Now go to the market. They changed the dynamic image on James Madison's card and on Felipe's card, but they have not updated it anywhere else except this card in the game has a different dynamic image. It's really weird. So that's random piece number one. And random piece number two is EA is releasing a massive title update in July on this game. Um, and there's actually some really crazy stuff in here. So I'm not going to talk about all of this. I'm not a gameplay guy, but I will drop a link to Inception's video, which he has released about this pitch notes and about this title update, which he goes into great detail about every single one of these things that are in the table of contents that they talk about in here. There is some really interesting stuff. It is worth a watch if you're planning to play FIFA throughout the summer. So check out that link down below in the description. 
to check that out. And like I said, yeah, today on Thursday, probably some more lightning rounds. They, they ran some lightning rounds yesterday, probably a throwback marquee matchups of some sort, maybe a last minute player SBC, who knows? Um, and then probably a pretty quiet day, maybe a swap token or two. I really wouldn't expect, expect much today. So if you're grinding objectives, good luck. If you're making some last player picks, good luck as well. I might stack a few 81 pluses for the team that's coming out tomorrow on Friday. But again, I think the real grind today is get as many of those swap tokens as you can get done. Um, and then we'll talk more about swap tokens tomorrow and what might be the best plan thinking about footies ahead of time. What might be the best plan for some of those swap tokens tomorrow when the rewards release? So pretty crazy day in general. Let me know your comments down below um, or let me know your opinions down below in the comments. I know some of you guys are bummed. I'm there too, but we're going to stick it out and have a positive outlook on Shapeshifters Team 4. And we know fo footies is still coming. It's not like it's gone, right? It's still coming. It's just kind of delayed one week. We've had this before, but it does suck and stings a little bit because it's July and the game is pretty quiet anyways. So that's the video for today, lads. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Again, comment down below if you have any questions or opinions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.